Hello and welcome back to Frappe ERP Next course. From last lecture, we have seen how to create a web form and we have done some client side scripting. In this lecture, we will see how to validate a web form. Let's open our web form and this is our programming web form. So, here I am going to add some validation when we click on this save button. So, for adding validation, let's open our programming webform.js file let's uncomment these lines for validate the form we can use this method frappe webform.validate and this function is triggered before saving that web form so we can add our validation inside this frappe.webform.validate function here i am going to add validation in two fields first field is email and the second field is mobile number so forget the values of that email field we can use this method frappe dot webform dot get value inside that function let's add that field name and the field name is email so we will get that uh, field names from our web form so let's open programming web form and uh, here we can see the different field names so I am using this email field name and a mobile number field name for uh, validation. I am using this pattern to test email ID and if the test is failed, it will show the message enter a valid email address. And here also I am fetching that mobile number using .get value and uh, assign to mobile num variable. This is my pattern to test mobile number and if that test is failed it will also shows a message and the message is enter a valid mobile number if both validations are passed then this function will return true and the web form is saved as a server side scripting document so let's save this and go back to our programming web form here I am going to add some random values in email field and click on save. It shows uh, saved successfully because we didn't reload this page. Let's reload the page. Now I am adding some random values and here we can see one error message and it shows enter a valid email address. So let's add a valid email address. then let's click on save and now we can see saved successfully and uh, let's add a mobile number with uh, some characters then click on save here also we can see the message enter a valid mobile number so let's add only numbers and uh, click on save here also we can see the success message saved successfully Now both email and mobile number will pass that uh, validation and if I click on save we can see the confirmation message saved successfully. Let's go to server side scripting doc type and uh, refresh it. Here we can see our email and mobile number. So this is how we can add validation in web forms. Let's wind up this lecture and uh, see you at the next lecture. Bye.